Adela's letter was certainly direct about meeting her right away, but didn't offer much to go. Miss Drew, your ticket information is enclosed. The matter of my necklace that has now been replaced with fake gems is very confidential. It was my mother's necklace. My mother told me little about it. She rarely told me anything at all. You will meet me at Prague Castle in the Hunger Kunstler Cafe at the end of the courtyard. If you are as good as they say, you will find it. No questions until you arrive. Use this number only in an emergency. It could be traced. Adela Cherna. It's beautiful here. First case I've had in Prague. They call it the city of a thousand spires. Home to a rich history, great music, precious art, and of course, many mysteries. This must be the place. Ah. Nancy. You must be Adela. Charna, please have a seat. I've been waiting for you. How was your flight? You must be tired. I'm used to it. I'm sorry to lure you away from your family. Do you have someone special waiting for you at home? Oh, Ned. Yeah, but he isn't waiting for me. He has a full life when I'm away. Ah, but he is special. I like to think so. Good. I am alone, but I like it that way. I think. I won't be long. I'll go home as soon as I solve your case. Right to the subject. I researched your cases. You are a very brave young woman. When were you the most scared? When you were in the Japanese Ryokan? Or in the mansion in your southern states? I had actually gone to Japan to teach, so when things became a mystery, I was really surprised at every corner. A unique experience I won't soon forget. That you can remember such an ordeal with a smile speaks well of you. I am well known in society because of my wealth, but also because of my appearance. 
You can imagine it is hard for me to ask for help among my peers. That's why you called me. Excuse me, are you Nancy Drew? I am. Who are you? Adela Cherna. No, I am Adela Cherna. This is fraud. Prove you are me. I owe you nothing. Imposter. Wait. If you let me, I will figure this out. I will choose between you, but I get to ask one question first. Agreed. In your letter, you explained what was stolen. Whose was it? It was my mother's necklace. Of course she would say that. It was my mother's. We were very close. I know who the real Adela Cherna is. You are. You explained the necklace was your mother's, but in your letter, I didn't get the sense that you were close at all. I can't believe it. Oh, Adela, that was my fault. I didn't know. I don't blame you, Patrizia. Miss Drew has earned her reputation. Please, just Nancy is fine. I hope you're not upset I lied to you. Adela is a very good customer, and she's never asked me for help before. You can never be too careful. I understand. Ah, good. Now I can get back to work. I will let you rest for the night, and we can begin in earnest here in the morning. Until tomorrow. A good detective always keeps a to-do list. Kafka came from Prague.
It really is just like the one in the square. I forgot to ask, do you have any postcards here? Of course. You can find them by the front door. I have much more work to do, so please feel free to sit and write your special someone. By the way, my real name is Patricia Witkowski. It is nice to meet you, Nancy. Thank you, Patricia. Not quite done here. Check. I'm not done with that yet. Simple. Check. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Dear Ned, safely ensconced in Prague at this cafe with Patrizia, the proprietor. At least I think so. I'll tell you later. I know we'll talk soon, but couldn't resist writing you a postcard. You're first on my mind, and I'm glad, no matter what, you're here for me. And I'm here for you, even from Prague. Love, Nancy. Check. Still have to do that. A locked file? And the text doesn't make much sense either. Didn't work. Didn't work. Locked. Locked. Locked.
still have to do that. Locked. I gotta have some torque. What do you have? Coffee? Tea? Wi-Fi password? You seem to know me pretty well. What coffee would you recommend? For you? Hmm. You're friendly, open, but mysterious, with a long history. Ha! Cappuccino. Cappuccino? Do you recommend that to everyone? No. I recommend the local thick black coffee. Tourists expect it. I will try that next. Thank you. I should get ready for Adela to come. Back to work. I'll send you over that coffee. I appreciate it. I'll sit at that table by the window. Nancy. The real Miss Cherna this time. For you, ladies. Check you. If you're looking for a book in English, you'll find some nice mysteries on the shelf. Thank you. I'll take a look. Oh. Toles in Oh, yeah, cool, yeah. What's this? Suspects. You will reach out to them and find out who stole the gems. Amazing. I like that you're thinking ahead. Could I ask you a few questions first? What do you want to know? In your letter, you explained the gems in your necklace had been replaced by fakes. How did you find out? I sent the necklace to a company called Second Shine. It is on my list here. They store jewelry and post it for sale on their site for all the world to see. I received a local offer instead, so they returned the necklace to me. But you're not sure that they were the ones who replaced the gems. I gave the necklace to my friend Vladena Zlati to appraise. She is a well-known jeweler in Prague. Vladena reported that the gems were fake. She is also on the list. If she is your friend, 
Why do you believe she could have stolen the real gems? Because I am no fool. You wanted to sell the necklace. Why not claim the insurance and get your money that way? The gems alone are meaningless, a fraction of its value. The necklace boasts a noble history, handed down through generations. The thief destroyed that. The necklace should be made whole. What is the necklace's history? It was my mother's, her mother's. Some nights I would watch her put it on and pour herself a glass. Then she would dance across the floor like we were back in the days of royal balls. I could never bring myself to wear it, but I always kept it safe. Until now. It means a lot to you. Uh, I hold no great love for my mother. It is why I would sell this necklace. But someone should treasure it. It should not be sold for parts. Not like this. Why bring me in to investigate? You must have contacted the police. I did. It is too small a crime for them. You must have heard as well that this is not the first time that Prox jewels have been replaced with fakes. You're saying that other people have had their gems stolen? Not other people. Gems in the Pravskai Hitsuritskai Museum itself have been proven fake. The police have found nothing. But you. You will. I appreciate the vote of confidence. How well do you know Vladena's Ladi? We have known each other socially for many years, ever since I returned to Prague from Paris. She owns Lati Jewelers. I have bought a piece from her here and there. She knows many of my friends and all of my flaws. Why didn't you try to sell the necklace through her in the first place? I did. She only sells in person. She barely has a website. Second Shine reaches far more buyers. Even so, the offer for the necklace came through Vladena. Have any of her other clients had their gems replaced? If so, she has not told me. Why did you choose Second Shine? You were bound to ask. You believe I was duped, naive to put my trust in a website. You don't strike me as naive at all. You're wrong. I was. Others in my circle had sold their jewelry through them. I had no reason to doubt them. Did you talk to anyone at Second Shine? No. We conducted the entire business online. I am asking you to do now what I should have done in the beginning. Find out who they are. What gems were replaced in the Pratska Historiska Museum? I don't know the details. You will have to ask the curator, Oskar Dvorak. He is also on my list. How well do you know Oskar? He is well known, but not by me. Did he have access to your necklace? As a gem expert, he may have access to everything. I think you've given me enough to get started. Thank you. Good. Remember, if all these crimes are connected, you alone are trying to solve them. Keep quiet. I will keep that in mind. That's done. Can't check that off yet. That's done. I'm not done with that yet.
You want to learn more about our coffee? I can teach you. Tempting, but I am here to help Adela. You will help Adela by learning more about Prague and our culture. Don't you agree? I see I'm not getting out of this. What do I need to do? I am struggling a little bit with the coffee machine. The porta filter and handle are missing. That's why I need a detective to bring them back to me. Oh, yes, and my recipe book will have my best recipes. Coming right up. Still have to do that. I'll clear the table soon enough. I have nothing more to say.
What is this? Who? Better yet, what? Farzinger. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Oscar Dwarak, who's calling? This is an American number. Yes, but I'm in Prague. My name is Nancy Drew. Adela Cherna suggested I reach out to you. Adela Cherna, I know her name. How can I help? I wanted to ask a few questions about the gym thefts at the museum. That is in the past. Are you sure about that? You are in Prague. Let me show you around the castle exhibition today. I will answer your questions. You will be convinced. We'll see about that. I'll take you up on your offer and meet you there. Thank you. Check. Hans Beyerzinger. Mr. Farzinger, my name is Nancy Drew. I'd like to ask you a few questions about Second Shine. My assistant isn't here. Is this for an article? Only if you tell me the truth. What else would I tell you? What happens when sellers request their jewelry back? The same process as when we sell it. We check the jewels against their degas entry and use our secure delivery service to ensure it reaches the customer. You ask sellers to send jewelry to you for safekeeping. Where do you keep it? They don't have to send jewelry. We offer storing and appraisal as a service which improves the chance of sale. As it says on our website, we have a very secure facility here in Germany. We catalog all jewels on the gas as soon as we receive them. Once we evaluate them, we price them and list them. You mentioned de gas. What is that? You called me to write an article on jewelry, but you know nothing about de gas? What is this? One of the pieces of jewelry you held in your secure vault was tampered with. The gems were replaced with fakes. Impossible. Not at second shine. Look at the Degas fire. If those gems were replaced, that happened after the jewelry was returned. How do you know? I run a reputable company and could not stay in business otherwise. We have had not one complaint through Degas. If you have anything further to say, you can talk to my lawyer, Miss Drew. Hmm, touched a nerve. In that case, I should talk to my lawyer. Ch Still have to do that. reach the personal line for Carson Drew. For legal matters, please contact the firm directly. Otherwise, 
Leave a message or a text and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm available. Hi, it's me. I'm okay. I made it to Prague. But sorry, that's not why I'm calling. Could you look into the website Second Shine and its CEO, Hans Farzinger? See if they have any court cases in progress. You're the best. Love you. Check. Can't check that off yet. I don't mean to disturb you, but do you have a moment? Please, they don't make these programs easy to use. My name is Nancy Drew. I understand you appraised a necklace for Adela Cherna. Ah, yes, because Adela thinks I stole her gems. That's what I'm here to find out. She and I have no secrets, but you must be tired from your journey from the States? You don't need to worry about me. I am well rested and ready to listen. You don't look it. My mistake. Did you enter Adela's necklace on Dagos? Oh, you know about this monstrosity on the computer. It's a new system. Did you create Adela's entry? I did not. When I got the necklace back from Second Shine, I had to input that the gems had been replaced. Is there any way the Dagos entry could have been wrong from the beginning? How would I know? I don't have access to this. Do you think the gems in the necklace were replaced in the same way as at the Pratska Historic Sky Museum? If so, then the thieves are chasing a bigger prize than my little shop. Stealing gems from a renowned museum is a high-stakes crime. How do you think the gems were replaced? Ask Oscar Dvorak. Not a friend? We have... spoken. He is competent, but I am a far better appraiser and jeweler, so he won't work with me. And even fewer people will work with him. Hmm. I see. He would be out of a job, you know. They would hire me to supervise all the gem exhibitions. Except for the crown jewels, of course. Why wouldn't they let you supervise the crown jewels? It stems from an old tradition. For centuries, women were overlooked in the elite gem trades. Even still, we have to fight for the positions we have. I didn't realize. Traditions are not changed easily, even by capable women. You have seen this. I'm fortunate that the men in my life don't give it a second thought. <laughs> and I often don't make it easy for them. <laughs> fortunate. It should not be left to fortune. You will learn. We can only rely on each other. experts like you around, how are the fake gems getting past years of appraisals? They are very good fakes, which is why only I could have discovered them. And what skills are needed for such an expert appraisal? Years of training, special lenses, and tools. Glasses are not enough, though large frames would suit you, and go with your style if that's what you call it. Thank you? So you're saying the average person wouldn't have noticed? Average? No. But you are a detective. You have a better eye than the average. How quickly could you learn the trade? I wonder.
This is a beautiful store. You founded this company? I did. I come from a long line of appraisers and gemology experts. My father taught me all that I know, and many come to me in Prague before they go to anyone else. I have had no complaints. A few, few complaints. Well, an open business will get complaints from time to time. What kind of complaints? I did not make them enough money, usually. Finding buyers is more art than science. So, your passions lie in the craft, but sales are what keeps you in the business. I could not have gotten this far without managing my money and my connections well. I have generous clients. What was your opinion of Second Shine before all this? Some of my clients have used them in the past. Did any of them have the same problem? Could they really be the ones behind the counterfeit gems? <laughs> it is possible Second Shine has been stealing jewels all along. Only I caught them. Could you tell the necklace was fake as soon as she gave it to you? The necklace is not fake. It is the same as the first time I saw it. The gems, they are fake. And you could tell that right away. As an expert, of course. So you found a buyer for the necklace? One just like Adela asked for. But when she got the necklace back from Second Shine, it was too late. Who's the buyer? Client confidentiality. <laughs> you understand. But it is over. I could not sell a necklace with fake gems. Then they're not really a client. <laughs> I like you, but no. You said you'd seen the necklace before. She showed it to me, so I could find a buyer for it. Of course, then, the gems were real. I would have gotten her a fair price, and I did. But she had already sent it to Second Shine. It doesn't seem like you're too happy about that. Certainly you see why. They take your gems, a scam. Thank you for your time. I may come back if I have more questions. You will let me know what you find. I'll leave that to Adela. I'm a good friend. If I had anything to hide, why would I have told her the gems were fake? It is a mystery.
haunted tour. I need to see that. Haunted tour starts tomorrow. I can't miss that. A haunted tour. I need to see that. Hello. Bisha Mashela Dwala. Ujalaito. Svate Vit. Svate Vit. Excuse me. That was my assistant. And what do you need? Mr. Dvorak? I'm Nancy Drew. Ah, the American. I did not expect you so soon. I like to follow a lead. What is Fati Vit? What? Oh, St. Visat's Cathedral. That's nothing. What sort of security do you have in place? Guards, cameras, everything one would need. Then how were the thieves able to replace the gems? That's a better question. How would they be able to in the future? You haven't answered my question. I won't answer your question because of security. How reliable is Degas? It's the best system we have for tracking the provenance of precious stones and jewelry. Do you use it for jewels in your collection? Of course, gems are worthless if we don't know their story. If we had had Degas before, maybe we would have discovered the switch of the gems sooner. What do you know about Vladena's Lati? The world of gems and jewelry is very small, and in Prague, it is smaller still. She works well as an appraiser, nothing more. Meaning? She lacks a true appreciation of gems, where they come from, their story. For her, it is money. Do you think she would try to replace the gems of one of her own clients? She wouldn't be very smart if so. What was your opinion of Second Shine before all of this? I have never used it. I work with priceless jewels, not common heirlooms. I suppose you don't hold a high opinion of their service. I have no opinion. How frequently do you check the exhibits for fakes? I do not need to do so frequently. Only when we remove them from storage and when we return them. Do you have anyone else examine them? I was appointed to this position by the government. They have utmost confidence in me. There are some amazing exhibits here. I would like to look around. Please, you are welcome. Incredible glasswork. But how does it open? I need more information. What are you doing? Could I have a closer look? Be careful. There are strange markings all over it. It could be part of an ancient riddle. Bip, 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 not so fast. This cannot be removed from the museum. Well, can I take pictures? If you must. Return here if you want to see the artifact again.
Please remember to be careful. Alchemy signs can still be found on the buildings even to this day. I'll add that to my list of things to find.